welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog and I am off on a road trip and I'm really excited now to arrive at my destinations of choice for the next couple of days and not only that but I'm going to meet a very good friend of mine Bernard Geraghty now for those of you that know Bernard you will know that he is always up to shenanigans and if you haven't heard of Bernard before well Bernard joined myself and Gavin uh, when we went to Donegal last year and let's just say he had a bit of fun uh, at Gavin's expense during that uh, trip. But nonetheless, where we're going to are some stunning locations. I'm going up to Bernard to where he lives, so I'm going to be purely at the behest of where he wants us to go, but I know he's going to bring me to some absolutely banger locations. So I'm excited. Let's go. Show off my flexing muscles too much, so I wear like nice, relaxed fit stuff. How's it going? Goodbye. Now we're on the road and we are going to go to some beautiful places. Actually, Bernard, where are we going? To be honest, you know how I roll. I just go and see what I see. Um, but we're in County Mayo, the home of BG Landscape Tours. Um, so we're going to go into Connemara. So we're not we're only 40 minutes from Connemara. Um, and yeah, we'll just see how the weather is playing ball. It looks like kind of nice dark clouds around the place with nice kind of spots of light as well. So we're going to look for something that stands out with the dark clouds behind uh, when the light comes through. And it could be anywhere. Judging by what Bernard has said there, I think we are going to get to some stunning places. So yeah, tune in over the next couple of weeks. You're going to see where we get up to, what adventures, and hopefully we'll avoid dog poop bags. If you don't get that joke, check out this video here and all of you will This is what Ireland looks like on our worst roads. So welcome now to our first spot that Bernard had brought us to, which is in Connemara. And I've got this beautiful lake here. It's a bit rough, but close to us here, it is quite calm as well. And as we can see here, we've got this boat, which I think would be a very, very nice shot as a great spot as well for the first shot that we're going to get today. Probably going to do some long exposures, probably going to do some fast exposures, but this boat will feature in the first image and it's framed nicely as well by the mountains either side here and then the mountains in the distance. Now, clouds at the moment I think might work there's a bit of a gap here but we don't know if it's going to work or not obviously if it doesn't get that sunlight through but yeah I'm gonna get the first shot set up now talk you through once I get that this is going to be great first shot set up here as you can see with this boat I took one actually from over this side here not him on 
that side over there. Um, but I actually prefer here, so I've gone, on, I've gone for a pretty fast exposure actually, one one hundred of a second, I'm at F10, ISO is at 100, and there's some nice mood and drama in the clouds you can see in the distance here, and I want to make sure I can maintain that. Water here as well now is quite flat, and behind me, here, you can see we've got a brightness as well coming through. The sun is in that direction, so we might just get a break by looking above me here. So I think that might work too. I'm going to hang around and see if I can get a bit of light in the subject here. And then what I'm going to do is see the clouds and see which way the clouds are moving, because I think it would be interesting to get a long exposure as well of this, because the water is quite flat as well here. So yeah, here comes the sun. So I'm going to hustle, grab this, I'll give you a look at what I get regardless, and then I'll check back in again in a moment. We got some beautiful light here a moment ago, all over here, it was kind of dancing along this area. I think I got a couple of shots with it, but as you can see now, the sun is shining on me. So the sun's come out first, Bernard. Yeah. What a great start. Now, I'm actually now going to do some long exposures as well here, just to see if I can catch some of the movement in those clouds. But what an incredible spot for us to start off this trip at. The first shots that I've taken were standard exposures. Next one's here, going to be long exposures. Mixture between landscape and vertical or portrait. Um, but I think, yeah, this is stunning. I'll give you a look at those now. And there's a couple of other boats over here. There's one that's going to have sunken. I don't know, I'm going to have a look at it anyway and see if it works for a shot. Now I've come over to these other two boats and you can see the ones behind me here is kind of half submerged. And I got a shot of that and I had a bit of light right behind it as well. Now I had to get quite close with it. Uh, I'm at 16 mil here and even that's wide, but it just wasn't that wide enough. So I had to get close enough so that I was getting all the boat in, but also be able to get the scene in the background as well. I could have gone back here, but I have this fence uh, here, which I don't really like in the shot. Now on top of that then as well, like I said, there was two boats. So the second boat, which is the one that's right here, is absolutely stunning. So what I've decided to do is put you pretty much where that camera is right now, and you're looking straight onto the bow of the boat, and then you've got this beautiful vista off into the distance. And I've also used the sand as well on that, so I'm using the kind of rule of thirds. On the bottom third, I've got the sand, the boat then is intersecting with that. The second middle part is this view here, and then the distance is the mountains and the sky. I've done a long exposure shot, and I've done a faster exposure shot as well, and I think both of them look good on here on the back of the camera, but we'll see how I get on here when I get to post them. But such a small area, really picturesque, and this is a lake, but I have this golden sand as well here, and when the sun comes out, it is stunning on the shot. So yeah, give you a look at these now, talk to you again in a moment.
just behind this beach is an absolutely stunning tree. Now, have a look at this specimen of a tree here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame up a shot and I'm going to utilize these areas here as a leading line and of the foreground interest as well to be able to bring me up through and up to this tree. Now I'm going to wait to see if I can get some light because there is some fleeting light as well. Looking around me here I can see it dancing off the side of the mountains but I think this is going to be stunning. Now Bernard is already set up down here and he has photographed this place before and yeah is it a nice place? Yeah it's pretty nice it's not far from home so it's a lovely little local to go to to be honest. Well I can't wait to see how it's going to look in the back of the camera. I think I'm going to get it from probably a runabout right here. I'm going to get it set up and yeah, I'm going to wait for some light. If I can get in the distance, it'll be... Mwah! I've taken my first shot now and I've got my camera set up here in portrait orientation. I do love these rocks that are there and they're leading then up to the tree and it fits perfectly well within the frame in portrait and like I said I was waiting for the light you can see the light was just on me as I started to record this but the light was also in the distance here on this headland or this headland I'm so used to the coast on this mountain uh, over here and settings at the moment as well I have to be conscious of the bright areas so I'm at 1 200th of a second I am at f11 ISO is at 100 and I really do like this when the light came as well it was lighting up the tree so there was a nice kind of a art and effect glow on the tree as well which I think works very very well too. Now Bernard is over here and he is telling me that he's got an even better comp so yeah I'm gonna have to go over to him now next and see if it is better than this. Let me know in the comments actually do you like this one or the one that I'm going to find in a minute with Bernard. So yeah here's this one and I'll check back in when I'm over there in a moment. Bernard's composition and I can see that it's nice like but let's ask him what did he see in this composition and why he likes it so much. Well I have off-centered the tree um, and I actually just not really like don't really love them but I do like the the, the stones kind of they do lead you up in the frame up towards the tree but what I'm really waiting for now is the mountains off to the off to the right um, and just waiting on some dapple light to come through there and uh, you've got the moodiness here a bit of dapple light there so I think there's nice balance to it and um, you've got light and stones to the right and the mountains and then just cutting it off nicely without going too far is hopefully the tree so is it going to be nicer than my camp? yep let yep. us know in the comments they're all going to be biased to let us know in the comments below <laughs> Right, so I have thoroughly enjoyed my first location that Bernard has taken me here today. Look at this for a scene. The lake is just here. The light is incredible. I hope you enjoyed coming along with it. Join me again next week when we continue on this incredible adventure to Connemara, to Mayo, to Donegal, and to an extra special place as well, which will be coming in a couple of weeks. That's all I'll say about it right now. But yeah, thanks very much. As always, don't forget to join me next Wednesday when I'll do my Behind the Raw and I'll talk you through how I've edited one of the images from either there or from here. And until the next time, hit the subscribe button. Hit Bernard's subscribe button, link for below, even though he doesn't use his YouTube channel. Go have a check it out and schlongafall.